Hi, hello everybody. Rachel here. It's been a few weeks since I've made a video because things have been awesome. <laughs> um, nothing has been uh, the same. Okay, there's been no repetition of a pattern of any kind. And it's been a lot of go with the flow and, you know, trust. So with that said, how you been? <laughs> Some of you guys I've been able to keep up with on Facebook when I'm like, okay, now I'll connect online and do this, this, and this. And um, it's been a pleasure and a delight the last 17 days with the Egyptian healing rods. There is so much going on with that. It's incredible. I'm so happy the rods are there. And it has been interesting to watch a lot of more of the Egyptian stuff come forward too. I mean, I was uh, talking about it the other day and I was like, Ken, you know what, babe? I was just like, this is, and this is happening. And all of a sudden the Egyptian healing rods, you know, there's Facebook group. We're going to have classes about more uses of them uh, come October. So that was a lot of synchronicities have been going on too. So with that, go into synchronicities and I know I haven't given away too much information but like I said been in the flow lots to happen a lot of changes a lot of good changes I feel more mm, girly <laughs> the birds of wisdom have been coming for it a lot and you know, paying attention to that I was like okay this is a recent not recent kind of development this bracelet here, isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. Handmade, uh, Shri and Kira uh, had offered this uh, during one of the Monday Magic moments and one of the Birds of Wisdom collection. So a hummingbird spirit guide appears as a reminder to appreciate life and its little pleasures. The spirit of the hummingbird encourages you to open up your soul and let your loved ones see your true feelings. The symbolic meaning of a hummingbird reminds us to let love and light into our lives. Well, yes, that is true. And then there, of course, there are expanded meanings to a hummingbird. What's going on when a hummingbird appears for you? Okay, a lot of that... Um, I feel is more of a God essence reminding you, hey, we, we're here, you know, it's okay, we've got you. And the hummingbirds really started coming out a lot in the past week. I'll be sitting in the office and I'm like, wow, there goes a the hummingbird. Wait a minute, I've got four hummingbirds outside the door. And absolutely no reason for them to be there except they're there. And I'm just like, yes, we, you know, it's very symbolic. Now today, I kid you not, this was this was pretty cool. So I wanted to go out. I was like, hey, I've got a day off. It's the first time in a while. Why not? So me and my little craftiness, I've got to go to the dollar store. I want to see what else is out there that I can make shit with, right? <laughs> so I went to the dollar store. And you can find all sorts of stuff there if you're into crafts. I actually found this. A picture of the toucan. toucan and it says the toucan reminds us that our ideas and voices have great value and to communicate and contribute our medicines to the world and in new creative ways to get out of the world again to get out into the world again meet new people and diving into those new projects Ford mentioned above I was like wow so First of all, yeah, I bought it just because this is the first time I've ever seen a toucan that actually looked like this and was pretty cool. I was like, I like that, you know. Um, for me, it's it's different when it comes to arts and crafts and creativity and stuff. It's, there is no rhyme or reason or matching. I liked it and I got it. And I didn't even, hadn't even read that part about the toucan. I was like... Oh, that's pretty cool. And then all of a sudden I heard Birds of Wisdom. I was like, okay, I'm paying attention. So I had an appointment today. And I, after I had gone to the dollar store, I was like, oh, okay, they're probably there now. Because this particular woman, her name is Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Uh, she got in touch with me last week, asked me where I was. And I was like, no, I'm no longer over there. Things in life have been shifting a great deal. 
So I go over and like, Hey, how you doing? You know, it's, it's not a close friendship, but you know, it's, it's a friendship. And, uh, we got to sit there and, and had chit chat for a second. She's like, well, this I got a few weeks ago and something inside me said, no, this has to go to Rachel. I was like, okay, well, thank you. Big flamingos. <laughs> Okay, well, it's a gold for lingo with the pink notebook, but, okay, so, you know, you already got it, the birds of wisdom, I'm like, can't wait to look this up. So I looked up specifically the spiritual meaning of a pink flamingo, and it says, flamingo, as spirit animals, can often indicate an individual who is flamboyant, fun, and very expressive. A flamingo spirit is often an open book and may struggle to conceal their true feelings. With their heads on, with their hearts on their sleeve, flamingo spirits navigate the world with an open-minded vivaciousness. Now, how cool is that? I, like I said, a lot of changes have happened, and I'm expressing those changes when I feel it. I feel it when I'm I, uh, wear my hat. Of people look at me funny when I go into the stores and stuff. I wear my tennis shoes with my dresses or my skirts. I don't care. My feet are going to be comfortable. I know I, I'm hauling. I'm hauling butt, man. It's time to go. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's very, it's very much in, in a synchronistic moment today uh, that I just am so happy to share. And I'm actually getting my butt on here to do it. <laughs> so, yay me. How are you? What are you championing? How are you inviting things in your life? You know, what inside me invited this to be, okay? Yeah, all of these things, yeah, all, there's a lot of shit that's happened. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. There's a lot of, hey, Rachel, own it, you know? What are you doing? Are you, what did you invite with this, you know? And it goes for everybody. If you own your stuff and truly sit down and look at everything and go, huh, how... And why would I invite X, Y, Z? Why wouldn't I invite the peace, love, and joy that I am? The true energy essence that you are to be. And I know some of you get that and other people are going, well, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> how can you have best to say this? You got to start being you. When you own the good, the bad, the ugly, everything about your vibration changes. When you take responsibility, everything starts to shift. Now, I mean taking more responsibility for your own inner work, okay? Your own inner work starts to change. You start to emerge. Your voice literally starts to shift in that frequency of truth because you're now owning and accepting a different level of truth. You're not accepting the illusionary shit coming at you. I got to tell you, there've been several times in the last four weeks, I've literally had to surrender. I'm just like, I don't know how I know I've taken my steps. I know I was truthful in my steps. I, I, this is what it is. Win, lose or draw. Here it is because it's not, life is not a competition. But what you're doing is you're presenting the quote unquote facts as best as possible and just saying, okay, I let it go. I surrender. And the miracles take place. It has been truly miracle after miracle after miracle. And for that, I'm very grateful, extremely grateful, because that helps to recognize the any judgments that come up. And I've noticed a few judgments that I'm still holding on to that have come up because I haven't looked further at what inside me invited this to be as it pertains to like two different things that I know as everything else that's interconnected somewhere else. And I'm on the journey of the forgiveness practice again. So I highly recommend it. It's at treeandcure.com. It's the 70 times seven. And yeah, been doing that. Just started it yesterday or the day before. 
doesn't matter when. All I know is that I keep writing it. This is what works for me. So don't hold yourself to, to a time, 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 time. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for catching up with me. Uh, do blog from time to time, like first thing in the mornings when I'm waking up right after I journal. I'm like, yeah, that's inspirational. Let's go for this. <laughs> I try to keep it succinct. I try to keep it short because I know our attention spans sometimes go. <laughs> um, I am on the Facebook, so feel free to catch me over there or on my Instagram. And poo poo to Instagram not accepting when I want to post things to Facebook. How dare you? Ra ra shish kebab. It's supposed to fit already. What? I don't crop for my health, okay? Cropping picture sucks. Okay. <laughs> you got my rant of technology. <laughs> so, have a good one. And chat at you later. Bye for now.